Hi there, I've got a tremendous analysis on the dollar that could be a total game changer and it could give you an opportunity to make a massive profit one way or the other. Before I get into that, I want to let everyone know that I've been listening I've been listening to your comments and I know that you want to see a video on how to grow a small account. Well, I'm working on that. Make sure that you like and comment on this video and I will be releasing something really special on how to grow a small account. So be on the lookout for that very soon. But now let's look at the dollar and see what an opportunity we can find. So. Uh, first thing I want you guys to notice here is this is a monthly chart, right? Monthly chart. Second thing I want you to notice is that we have a pin bar. The month isn't done, okay? But initially we have pushed into support, but we have actually broken the support. So uh, we've broke, or not support, resistance, silly me. Uh, this is resistance and we've broken it. But since we've rejected, so this is a monthly chart, uh, but before I get into that, I want to show you the trend because trends are really important. And so you can notice here, I'm zooming out now, and you'll notice that really we are in a downtrend, right? You'll see that lower lows, and this is kind of, t <laughs> this is a little too tiny. I apologize. Let me fix it. Uh, this is moving lower, right? Lower, 85. This is 02. And then here was a peak in 16. So we're moving lower. We're in a downtrend, right? A long term downtrend. But you'll also notice that we broke above that. When? When did we break above? Well, we broke above that in April 15. Right, and so now we have broken this channel, and we're actually in an we're we're in an uptrend, right? So we were in a downtrend for many years, and now we're in a down an uptrend. Okay, and so we're at a, a descending wedge right here. So this is pretty critical because this is all on a monthly time frame, and now we're looking at breaking this out. Okay, so if this breaks, if this breaks we have another level right here, okay? So we have another level right here. Now, um, that's a lot of distance. So we're at 103, that would be 120. Absolutely, totally, and completely significant. Major, major, major move. Okay, so now what I want you to notice is let's go to a weekly time frame real quick, one week. So last week, um, closing out right here, we had a pretty interesting candle development. This is a push. You see we got really high. I don't have an RSI on here, but I know that we're probably oversold. And we broke to the downside, okay? And when I say we broke to the downside, we broke that low. That's really important. So this, what this means is, we tried to go higher and we failed and we took out the low. So now the momentum is moving down. So on a weekly time frame, we could be headed lower. And where could we go? We could go all the way down here. Okay. And so that's just something to pay attention to. But we are in right now, based off the monthly trend, an, up, an uptrend. So if this level breaks, we could have a tremendous move to the upside. Otherwise, we could come down and then break and go to the upside or break lower and go down. Okay, so that's the basic analysis of what's happening. But how will this matter for trades? Well, the first thing I want you to understand is to compare this to the S&P 500 because right now the S&P 500 is moving correlated to the dollar. So when the dollar moves is moving up, the S&P has been moving down. So if we'll notice uh, the S&P, let me just do a comparison here. Uh, you'll notice that it's been moving down, and it's kind of hard to see, but S&P's been moving down, right, from here, and the dollar has been moving up. Okay, so what that could mean is if this weekly bounces, that the S&P could get a bounce as well, right? So we'll just something to consider. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 chart, SPY. Let's look at that, all right? So now you can see the S&P is currently sitting at 
an interesting fib level. You draw a fib high to a fib low. We're at the 38.2. We are at the bottom of this pattern, okay, so that we could get a bounce, right? We could get a bounce and then continue in the up direction. Uh, so the thing that I want you to know is the S&P weekly candle did not reverse, though. It did not at all. If we change that to a daily time frame, uh, the S&P had a slight bounce, but it still held. So on the dollar, we had a bounce. On the S&P, we had a bounce, but the dollar bounce was a little more powerful. If the dollar continues to move, we might see an S&P bounce. Let's take a look at another correlated, um, in, which is really important, and that's Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Bitcoin USD. Okay, so this is really important, right? Uh, Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin also, you know, if we, let's look at that on a higher time frame, uh, monthly. You know, Bitcoin is looking like the S&P, right? It dropped. And if on a weekly, what happened on a weekly? Weekly, it dropped. Looks very similar to the S&P. Now, what I want you to consider here is if that dollar index will break to the upside, if that resistance point that I just showed you, if that breaks, then we could see more drop, right, on Bitcoin. Also, if that dollar index breaks, we could see more drop on the S&P 500. So that could be a pretty significant move as well. It could be pretty significant because if we're looking at these levels, the next level here, the next level on Bitcoin is all the way down here to 19,000. Okay, so if that breaks, we could fill this gap, right? We fill that gap on the dollar. There's a big gap on the dollar, which was, if we go to the first chart, we remember it was from 103 to 120. There's a big gap here on Bitcoin that could be filled as well. All right, now if we go back to the S&P one more time, uh, S&P. Uh, there, there could be a big gap here all the way down to the 50% FIB or this support level, right? Uh, which would be right here, 340. So if that dollar level breaks, we could see more downside. But that isn't if because the weekly candle is moving up. So let's look at uh, a currency pair. Let's look at pound USD. So we know that the, we know that the pound USD is had a bounce on the week which correlated with the dollar right so it, what we could be seeing is a possible move on this pair up right but again if it fails if this fails that is an indication we could go lower and would, then we might see bitcoin lower we might see s p 500 lower so something to consider and what i recommend is that you just watch this you just watch this you know one of my podcast guests rob smith he teaches something called the strat he talks about a two two reversal this is a two because it breaks lower and this is a two because it breaks higher on one side of the candle a two just means it breaks one side right so this broke one side on the top and this one broke one on the bottom. So it was a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2 two, two reversal. So we're seeing a 2-2 two, two reversal on the weekly chart, which could indicate a turnaround here, which might be positive for Bitcoin, could also be positive for uh, S&P. And then lastly, I just want to say, you know, trade this as you would trade it. We're off of a level here. So right here, we have a level, we got support, we got the air level, you know, put a tight stop and let this thing run and see where it stops because you don't know. That's the power of using levels in your trading. You put a tight stop and it could reverse and it just keeps moving and moving and moving and you get a small little loss when you're wrong and you get a big win when you're right. So if you try it and it works, great. But if it doesn't, if, you, if this fails and then breaks lower, well, then you could say, oh, well, maybe we're going to sell here, and then you sell it, and you can target much lower lows. Again, a tight stop and a big move. A lot of times the market will fake you out. You never know, but you want to play your risk management accordingly. Okay, well, that's the update on the dollar. I hope it's been really helpful. Stay tuned for next video, and I have a question for you. I have a question, and that question is, what do you think is going to happen with the dollar? Are we going to get a bounce up? 
and the S&P and Bitcoin's gonna bounce or are we gonna crash those lows and we're gonna see a really big correction on Bitcoin and the S&P 500 and on the stock market in general. Let me know what you think is gonna happen. How are you gonna trade it? And let's have a great discussion about this. And also, if you're looking for that video on how to grow a small account, be on the lookout because I got something epic coming your way. You're going to love it. Do not miss any of my videos. All right, well, thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.